First at nine, a Birmingham homeowner is desperate for help because the foundation of her home is literally crumbling beneath her. On your side, investigator Jonathan Hardison is looking at whether the city can help. You can see right here, right here, there's my shift, it right there's a deep hole. I have to. And right here. Yeah, right there. It's a deep, a shift it, all the wood. For Barbara Jones. At the sink, I have to, and you see how curved I'm, I'm going down here? I'm having to hold on to stuff, the whole, you see how the angle I feel? The only home she's known for more than 50 years has turned from a place of rest and memories. But this way I sleep and they said that mold was up under my, up under my bed, up under my bed, and cause that's where the water comes outside from the, from the creek. Into a house of horrors brought on by repeated flooding. We have suffered emotional, we have suffered pain, we have suffered memories that's, that's lost that because some of my house been torn off and some of those memories are gone. Barbara's home backs up to Village Creek. It's in a flood zone. The flooding so bad it forced her next door neighbor to move out and tear down this home when this floor caved in. And after failed foundation fixes. This has been done three, two times. This floor has been done two times, but every time I have it done, it, it don't, it don't work and a nasty fall. It's fixed now, but before that, it was a big hole. You could see the ground almost then. Mrs. Jones is ready to move out herself and was hoping the city or FEMA could help. I felt stuck. I felt stuck. <laughs> and still do. And everybody know it. Everybody know this. People have, have I mean, they have reached out to me. They tried to help me, but uh, I just felt stuck. I didn't have nowhere to go. We reached out to the city and the mayor's office says it did apply for a FEMA grant back in 2018, hoping to buy out several of these severely damaged properties along Lee Avenue Southwest. But the city didn't get the grant and says it tried but failed for the same grant the next three years in a row. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to let go now. It's been a disaster for me for these years of uh, trying to just just hold on here. I go and I come and I try to put everything kind of on a, I think I think on a, on a back burn or something like that and say it's gonna get done and I wait for the calls and the calls don't come. So for now, the city says it can help Mrs. Jones and some of her neighbors get a discount on flood insurance and the mayor's office says they're still asking for a FEMA grant for these homes. But for now, her wait continues. Jonathan Hardison, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.